There's a Snape for us. Somewhere a Snape for us. Always. <laughs> <laughs> hey, welcome back to our stupid reactions, you idiots. I'm Corbin. What does he say? Open your books to page. How do you not remember that language? I know. The most famous. It's the most famous. He comes in, pop, pop, uh -huh. pop, pop, pop oh, <laughs> turns. Open turn to page. page. Turn to page. For oh, crap. 394. That's a 394. <laughs> I wish I could do Alan Rickman's voice. What a voice. Few people can. No. I, I've heard, I think Benedict Cumberbatch actually is pretty close. It is pretty good. Uh, Instagram and Twitter. Yeah. Juicy you know content. You know all that stuff. Um, what are we doing, Corbin? What is happening, Corbin? Uh, you're thus. Oh, cool. This is one of the things he did a little while ago. It's called Bollywood Drugs Journalism in India. <laughs> right on. <laughs> Go for it, man. So, uh, Go for it. Obviously, we love Veer Das. Uh, he's Dost of ours. Yes, 100%. <laughs> God, we're going to call him Dost. Thanks to Pankaj for honoring Everybody's us dust. with that. We know what that means now. Uh, but yeah, this uh, after we did one, uh, another stand-up comedian who talked about Bollywood and drugs. Yeah, recently. And, yeah, and then people told us, you got to watch Veer Das. Das. Well, yeah, because he'll be... He did this just in, uh, I believe it was October, so it was actually shortly after probably we talked to him. Yeah, he's cut from the same cloth as my, like, my favorite comedian right now is Dave Chappelle, who is okay. just 100% pure, honest... He's always been ...brutality, honest. yeah. He's always been honest brutality. But, Love yes, it. this should be good. Here we go. So you're happy people. You're happy people. Bollywood is on drugs, guys. <laughs> This is the number one issue plaguing India right now. Forget the vaccine, forget the economy, forget the GDP, forget yeah, the pandemic. Nothing else Bollywood matters, man. Is smoking ganja. <laughs> this is the issue that is fucking plaguing our country right now. Bollywood is on drugs. I love you saying that with a yes, Marley Bollywood shirt on. Bollywood is on drugs. Fuck yes, Bollywood is smoking weed. You think Golmal gets written sober? <laughs> <laughs> You know, Go Go Are Gone Is Without Weed, it's a tourism video for Kerala. Right? <laughs> Bollywood is hard. Bollywood is hard. That was good. Right? There's lots of money riding on you. Your destiny changes every Friday. People analyze your every choice, your every appearance. There's two ways to go with that. Either you can develop a very thick skin and that only makes you jaded over time. Or you can pretend like it doesn't exist, ignore it, and that isolates you over the time. Or at the end of each day, you can roll a fat one. Or then like a big split, just roll the picture. I'm not saying that drugs help you succeed. I'm saying a little weed helps you deal with the failure and the failure and success. That's all I'm saying. If you smoke a giant one at the end of each day, you don't care if Anupama Chopra gave you a bad <laughs> You already have the best film companion. This is great. And I like film companion. I mean, you give me nice reviews sometimes. <laughs> Their bad reviews are really bad. Like they can be bitchy to fucking people. Like I, I was. Uh, She's a very famous review. This review for like channel. this this Netflix show, um, Masaba Masaba. You guys seen it? Yeah. yeah. I haven't seen it, but I, I assume it's, it's like about Masaba's life, right? And the kind of life she leads, where people get together and have brunch and talk about chiffon. I don't know. <laughs> talk about and chiffon. Review of a film from Bank that wrote a review. It's a Rahul something, and and the the tagline was. Nina Gupta is a much better actress. They should have made the show Nina Nina. <laughs> and I was like, what a bitchy, pichak person thing to do, man. You know, pichak people? India is full of these people, pichak people, where no matter if they like something or they don't like something, <laughs> <laughs> these are pichak people. Like this guy probably goes to Batman Begins and he's like, Michael King is the better actor. They should have called it Alfred Continue. <laughs> <laughs> he probably goes to Black Panther and he said, Not all Panthers are black. <laughs> this is so <laughs> true. Exactly right. Not all Panthers are black. And that demoralizes some people because, you know, they don't believe Bollywood stars will tell you they don't read reviews, alright? 90% of actors read every review. And the Not other percent don't know how to read. <laughs> That's why they look at the stars. That's basically a visual aid for them. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> 
बिराडो के दीपिका पादुकोण ने पिया चरस दीपिका स्मोकिंग द जॉइंट लिसन दीपिका पादुकोण इज टॉल इनफ हंबल इनफ हार्ड वर्किंग इनफ एलिगेंट इनफ एंड टॉल इनफ वे इफ शी हैज अ जॉइंट इन हर माउथ इट डजंट अफेक्ट माय लाइफ इन एनी वे शेप एंड फॉर्म वी ऑपरेट इन डिफरेंट क्लाइमेट्स एंड आर्टिट्यूड राइट वी हैव डिफरेंट वेदर शी इज प्लेइंग पफ पफ पास विद ड्रोन्स दीपिका पादुकोण इज स्मोकिंग वीड लेट अप Let us smoke weed. She's married to Ranveer Singh. <laughs> When she gets high, that dude is normal. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> When she gets high, his wardrobe makes sense. <laughs> Baby, you look great today. <laughs> If she's so much guilty, I touch a curtain, Ranveer. Take that shit off. <laughs> I'm going to talk about Sushant Singh Rajput. Can I? Oh, oh, oh. Because it's not about justice for Sushant anymore, is it? Huh? We got played for three months. You know why Sushant Singh Rajput had a tough time in Bollywood? Because he was smart. That's why. That boy was smart, and the people with power in Bollywood want you to make them feel like they're the smartest people in the room. Mm. They want you to make them feel like the shit they create is genius to you. And Talk. this is the boy who knew astrophysics, who understood the universe, Talk. who understood that going uh doesn't change the world. That there are things outside of Bollywood. That's why he had a tough time. Yep. And he was smart enough, I think, where if somebody was slipping him drugs, he would know. He would ask a question. At least one question he would ask. He would be like, "Hey, baby, every time we have kichdi on Monday, how come I wake up on Thursday?" <laughs> And he had so much fame, man. It's tough to have that level of fame. It is. Like I have a minuscule level of fame. Like he had. Bollywood fame. My fame is very chill. Like my fame, I'm like a double decker bus. <laughs> That's it. If you saw me on the street, you'd be like, "Ah, oh, I know what that is." <laughs> I don't give a fuck, but I know. <laughs> I'm going to tell you a Bollywood story. You want to hear my Bollywood story, huh? Yeah. My first film was a film by the name of Namaste London. Some of you may not remember that film. That's I was in that, in that film. I had three lines. That. Is ninety percent of Bollywood. It's not just hero and heroine in camera. It's people who have three nines and dreams in their hearts who are trying to get to four nines. Same with Hollywood. <laughs> Same with Hollywood. And they think that line is going to change their life. I was on a terrace in Hyderabad. This is the scene. It's Rishi Kapoor, Katrina Kaif, uh, Nadia Singh, me, and another junior artist playing my mother. Rishi Kapoor has an umbrella over him. Katrina Kaif umbrella over her. Nadia Singh umbrella over her. Me and the other junior in artist are umbrella less. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Baking in the sun. Yeah. The only two sweaty people in this beautiful Bollywood scene. We look like two heroin addicts at Sunday brunch. <laughs> Ironically, the two people who look like they are on drugs are not actually from Bollywood. <laughs> I have my first line. I rehearse my first line for months. All right. I do my first line. It goes well. I'm prospective room number three. Remember. All right. I do my first line. It goes well. Vijay Kapoor does his line. It goes well. Katrina Kaif looks at me dead in the eye and goes. Papilish to pass to pass to borrow to lock to lock to pass to miss to pass to pass. She was only in her career. She didn't speak Hindi totally yet, so she used to mouth dialogues and then dub them later herself with a coach. Oh, I didn't know that shit. Oh, I didn't either. So, <laughs> so I was just in the scene looking at her like, am I high? <laughs> no joke. Because that wasn't Hindi. <laughs> That was in English. I don't speak Dothraki. <laughs> and this again and again and again. Papalus pass, but for hours and hours and hours, my mother and I are changing shades. We are heading towards Tollywood with every passing hour. <laughs> and at the end of it, this is my close up, and everybody gets up to leave. And just leaving me alone with that one assistant director who looks like he hates his parents, which is all assistant directors. <laughs> Nobody signs up for that job after a happy childhood. And as he's leaving, you know, I consider myself not starstruck. You know, I'm pretty cool around famous people. Rishi Kapoor all of a sudden grabbed my hand and said, "Son, what is your name?" And as he grabbed my hand, I swear to God, in my mind, I heard. We <laughs> <laughs> started. I'm sure it's a Rishi <laughs> reference, yeah. <laughs> and I was like, "Sir, my name is Deep Das." And he said, "Deep Das, you are a fantastic actor." Mm. You must promise me no matter what happens, you will be back. And I said yes. He created a pivotal moment for me, and he knew he was doing it. I confirmed yeah. it with him. I did two other films with him. The last time we worked together, he was my father, I was his son, and he said, "I knew that." 
I do that for actors all the time. Great, that's awesome. Because like I all the time. It was one of the best days of my life. I got back to my hotel room. Do you know the first thing I did? Drugs, guys. I did. <laughs> That you have to have 900% enthusiasm and 0% expectations. I knew a long time ago this market wouldn't understand me, and so I needed to understand me and figure out how to use myself because they are yes. not. And I'm not telling you Good about work. my struggle. By the way, shut the fuck up about your struggle. And other people struggle as well. If you Everybody's got a struggle. about your struggle, you made it. It's fine. You're done. Right. If there are eggplant emojis in your life, you have a right. <laughs> You, the public, I say, why do you need your Bollywood stars to struggle? What is it's overrated struggle? It really is. Mm -hmm. Have you seen people who work really, really hard? They're ugly. <laughs> Struggling takes a toll, man. You want your Bollywood stars to be fresh, to look like they just came out of the bottle, to be launched, like a new rocket is launched. They launch new things. You never see NASA like, yeah, we're going to launch this Fiat any one one eight into space. Yeah. No, people who work hard look like shit. It takes a toll. Our Prime Minister is the hardest working man in India right now. <laughs> Have you seen him recently? He's just sitting there with birdseed. <laughs> Even the peacock is like, I don't know man. This guy's going through something right now. I'm just saying, his appearance has changed. Has it not in the pandemic, huh? I have to say, man, I've never seen a Hindu man look more like Santa Claus in my life. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> Every time he comes out, he's like, Mitra, I'm like, have I been naughty or have I been nice? And I'm like, on the list. <laughs> you watch that shit on the news, anchored by our favorite Mr. Goswami. Should we talk about him? We never have, but I think today finally we need to, because he just defies every rule of physics I ever learned in school. I was always taught that light travels faster than the speed of sound. Fucking Avila Goswami's voice travels faster than the speed of light. It leaves your television and enters your ears to prepare your eyes for the face we're about to see. I think it's the, the nation wants is, to know that. It's such a picture of megalomania gone wrong. Can we agree on that, yeah? I mean, I, I wonder things. I'm like, you think he screams his own name in bed? <laughs> that flicker of the lights was him, by the way. You think he screams his own name in bed? He's just sitting there like... That's, I sympathize for the fucking people who work for Arnab Goswami. I really do. That poor girl in the car who's next to you. I I should feel like if Deepika actually she caught up to her and Deepika rolled her window down, she'd be like, Deepika, do you have any drugs? I need mean, it. <laughs> I walk for a madman. <laughs> we all agonize over this shit. Why? But why? Why is the news a circus right now? Because it's competition, it's not news. You think Arnab Goswami is competing with like NDTV and Times now? No, he's not. He's competing with Netflix and Amazon. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> He knows that you have one device and two eyeballs and he wants them at 9 p.m. So he's going to give you more fantasy and more fiction. Same with all the other groups organizations. So yeah. that he can get that device. If you want to stop this kind of journalism, stop watching. Don't heckle him on a flight. He loves that. All right. Don't tweet about him. He loves that too. Take away his eyeballs like the government took away his real ones. That's how you change this. <laughs> and I still have respect for Arnab Goswami. The people I don't respect are the wannabe Arnab Goswamis. You recognize that that style of journalism was working and they started to do that style of journalism. Like that lady on Times Now. You know the one who, oh God, the one who looks like she scares everyone at the PTA meeting. <laughs> Navika, right? You just feel like she's at the PTA meeting and they're like, okay guys, it's deciding. She's like, I have something to say. <laughs> they're like, Navika, we're just deciding if we're playing Tambola at the Diwali Mela. <laughs> so this shit is, no, Tambola is not part of our culture. <laughs> India is being ripped apart by the Tukre Tukre gang. Have you heard about this shit, the Tukre Tukre gang? <laughs> it's a wonderful fictitious notion. A, a group of people whose only job is to divide India for their own benefit. <laughs> Who pitched that to the government? Huh? Who went to the government and they're like, sir, I have idea. 
we will convince public that there is a group of people who want to divide India and keep us divided for their own benefit. <laughs> yeah, that's us. <laughs> no sir, but we will convince them that us is they. And they is doing that to them, while us can do we. You also said, similar. So Bollywood, what happened? <laughs> I don't know man, sometimes I feel like, you know, the only person who has it right is Kabir. You know? <laughs> I saw the destruction of our office. Did you see that? Yeah. I thought it was wrong. Did you think it was wrong? Yeah. Most definitely wrong. You know, but that wasn't the full picture. Because if you saw her office being destroyed and you zoomed out, her office was just an office in Bandra. But if you zoomed out a little bit more, Bandra was just an area of Mumbai. And if you zoomed out a little bit more, you saw the full Mumbai skyline. And somewhere in there was the destruction of her office. And on top of one of those big tall buildings stood our own superhero, Krish. <laughs> Krish saw what you and I both saw. And our superhero, was, he was going to do something about that. But he thought to himself, he's like, you know, I'm going to skip this one. Because I think justice has already been saved. So yes, it's a distraction. Yes, it's to turn you away from the economy. Yes, it's all dramatic and yes, it's all ridiculous. And yes, Bollywood is on drugs. But you're watching this shit. So are you. I love him. Yeah, he's too. so good. He has, he has a massive set of balls. And I, it, yes, and I love it's called a loose rant. Yeah. Because it was a loose rant. You know, I think you saw He was looking at his notes. He didn't even have his set memorized My yet. My bad, because I, I know he has a new stand-up coming. Mm -hmm. And so he was some of that probably coming. trying. He was trying it out. He was trying some of it out. Yep. But he's got, man, that's that's brave. One, especially talk about Sushant. Sushant. That's, that's a very touchy subject for a lot of people, but he spoke a lot of truth to that. Yep. <laughs> as well. Uh, and then the whole Topeka thing when people were going after her for smoking weed and... All that kind of oh, stuff, man. but he's he's so smart about all of it because he makes you laugh, but mm -hmm. he also makes you think. Yeah, it's and it's a wonderful style of humor, and I, uh, I, I've always admired it about. Him. Yeah, he he applies logic and principles of good rhetoric to what he says, uh, and when he gets you to laugh, he gets you to agree with him. Mm -hmm. It's very smart. Uh, and yeah, he, that's my favorite thing about him, like my favorite thing about Dave Chappelle, my favorite thing about Hedda Gabler. These are, these are comedians who uh, are just, they're like, they're artists because they're coming from the core of who they are. They're not compromising who they are. Mm -hmm. They're willing to grow, they're willing to change, and they're willing to just say it like it is. Yep. Uh, and yeah. Also, I love that story about Rishi. That makes yeah. me like him. I mean, even though we thought he was actually really, really good, he was probably a favorite part of Kapoor and Sons, right? Yeah. He was. We thought he was really good in that. And we know he's like a massive a legend, a legend star, been around for decades. Right. I love that. Yeah. I. Lo that's what you should aspire to be when you make it. Is I. I who said it? Uh, was it? I don't know if it was a Indian artist or if it was a actor here in Hollywood that said, "It's my job now to extend a hand." Oh yeah, I, forget I don't who, remember who it was that said that. Was, but like you at that level, you're not nervous anymore. You you know what's going on. You've been on hundreds of sets. Yep. You know what's going on, but you know the person op acting for the first time opposite next to you, a legend and other legends, yep. is extremely nervous and so excited about this opportunity. Yep. And to extend a hand like that, and just to say something as simple as, you did a great job. And, and... He will remember that for the rest of his life. And did you notice he said, they went to his close-up, and everybody else left. But Rishi stayed and watched him work. Mm -hmm. And it, 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 not, I'm not trying to make this about me, it reminded me of something that someone did similarly, and I was in Vir, Virdas's position when I did Ogabu 2. Mm -hmm. George Burns at the time was legend, right? Mm -hmm. And it's his film. He's not, all he has in that scene is one shot sitting at the back of the room where he's sitting like this and they cut to him in the middle of my monologue because he is, he's playing God. He's making me change my mind in mid monologue. Mm -hmm. That's the only reason Mr. Burns was there. But as they're filming my monologue, I look to my left and I see George Burns sitting in the chair watching me do my scene. I'm like, why isn't he in his trailer? But, so I do my monologue. And I just naturally look over to him immediately, like, because I knew he was watching me. Mm -hmm. And this is what he does. 
to a 10-year-old kid. And I'm now 51, telling you the story about George Burns just taking the time to do this to me and, and to sit and watch me do my monologue. It takes nothing for them to do that. Like, one, it takes nothing to be a good person. Right. Like, that's just basic human decency. And I feel, but it, it's unfortunate, a lot of stars forget that. Especially if they've been in the industry a, a long, long time, time, which George Burns at that time yeah. was already in his 80s. Like Rishi, he's yeah. been around since what, the 60s? Yeah. So like, they're, they're like, okay, I'm done. Yeah, George my Burns trailer. had had a 60 year career in the industry at that point, it's, it's, watching a 10 year old. And he sits and watch, yeah. It's, it's, it's wonderful when they turn out to be good people and exactly. they want others to succeed. And that's, that's a really good takeaway from this because as much as people have been talking about the drugs in Bollywood, <laughs> uh, the reality is that when you get to certain levels in Hollywood for as much as you hear about the crap, there's a lot of really good people in Hollywood. Yeah. There yeah. really are a lot Hollywood of good people. Hollywood Hollywood, yeah. There really are. That was great. Yeah, that was great. Obviously, really funny. always send us more of your docs. More of your docs. Stand up that we can react to down below. <laughs> Ha 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 ha!